cow. Step in the office, girl. We are here for your appointment, your monthly appointment, to talk about your life. See what's going on with you for the month of September. Any place with a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Mercury, Rising, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, North No and South No placement. Anybody who likes to be knows it because they are in here. Come on, girl. You, but you knew that, though. Pricing and content information to book a reading with me will be in the description box down below. All the info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, girl. You know what it keeps me in the rotation, honey. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping, boy. I appreciate it. So, it's not good. Um. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Capricorn, we're going to pull three zodiac signs to see what placements you guys might have, who could be around you during the time, who could be being nosy, and then we're going to pull one monthly Oracle message card to see what's going on with your life for the month of September, babes. Okay, so here guys, what zodiac signs can resonate with this Capricorn reading for the month of September in the year 2023? I can feel it when you walk, even when you talk, it ain't gonna burn me. We have Scorpio. There could be a Scorpio in your midst or just outside your energy lurking, okay? It could be a Scorpio. This is going to be my lurk card from now on. Yes. Capricorn, it could be a Scorpio outside your energy or a Scorpio lurking during the time. There's a Scorpio in the vicinity, right? We have Sagittarius, Leo, and Taurus. What's the placements? What's the placements? What's the placements, baby? moon and venus for all of them so scorpio taurus leo sagittarius moon and venus in scorpio taurus leo and sagittarius you guys might have these placements these zodiac signs could be around you during this time they could be being nosy or there could be some messages for you in these monthly readings okay so you guys what's going on with the capricorn zodiac for the month of september in the year 2023 too many that's too many shift the perspective you know what this card is for me girl the bird's eye view card looking at things from a um a bigger perspective looking at the bigger picture in regards to things okay this for me is getting outside of your own emotions feelings getting out of this tunnel vision it's like like i said let's look at the bigger the bigger picture of things right now okay um and this for me is also broadening your horizons this for me is wanting more out of life um Feeling like you're uh, getting more understanding of things, girl. And it's like, okay, girl, I don't know if you've been reading some self-help books or you've been in Barnes & Noble like your babe, like your baby girl. Okay, but some of y'all, I feel like have been, you know, in your philosophical type bag um, as of recently. Been doing a lot of self-reflection uh, and self-introspection uh, and all that, girl. Like I said, maybe you've been watching self-help videos, reading self-help books, okay? Finding more out about self. And so, you know, whenever you start learning more about yourself, you start learning more about others too, okay? Bars, snakes in the grass. And you're starting to realize not all enemies come looking like enemies, okay? Damn. Yeah, this for me is like realizing like some people that aren't good for you, um, it's not going to be outright. You know, this ain't somebody here is going to talk about your mother on Facebook or some shit. And you, and you like, yeah, girl, they're not a good friend. It ain't going to be no shit like that. This for me is, you know, the the the, the silent hater, the friend that has secret animosity towards you. Um, uh, Yeah. And just leave it at that, girl. Leave it at that, okay? Let's go ahead and pull some cards. So, here, guys, what's going on with the Capricorn Zodiac for the month of September in the year 2023? 
hermit. I told you. You've been on your philosophical type shit as of recently, girl. So much so, girl. I'm not, I haven't even been leaving the house, okay? Or with the hermit card, you've been very closed off, very to self during this time. But it's a spiritual thing, okay? Only certain people would understand it. Yeah, Ace of Swords, clarity of the mind. I'm seeing things and you know, 4K right now, HD vision, okay? A lot of you guys have been being brought, um, which, what, what you want to call it? Hard truths. You've been realizing hard truths about a lot of things re regarding self and certain things around you during this uh, time, okay? All right, girl, we can talk about it. Um, I'm also seeing that some of you guys, there is somebody here outside your energy that I feel like you probably don't deal with anymore or won't be dealing with anymore because this person refuses to see. Um, I wouldn't say their faults or their flaws. As with the Knight of Wands, I don't feel like this person sees how either reckless they are or just how yeah, it's giving a bull in a china shop. Okay, girl, so I don't know if this is a Taurus, okay? But just seeing that someone here is like, Knight of Wands and Eight of Swords, can you not see the results of your actions, you know? Um, some of you guys could feel this way about an air, water, or fire sign individual. Uh, we have Sagittarius, Aries, Libra, Gemini, Scorpio. Some of y'all, this could be more than one person. Six of Cups, this could be just people here that you have a little bit of a history with. It could be a past connection that you cut off with somebody that was like this. Um... Or this for me is you. This is you. I right, realizing that, uh, yeah, me acting like that, me moving like that, I see why things are, you know, where they're at now, okay? It's, 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 it's a little bit of wisdom going on with you, Capricorn, okay? Getting wise. So, here, guys, what's been going on? What's going on? What's been going on? Look at me talking to you like I'm, like I'm your homegirl. Little chit-chat. So, here, guys, what's going on with the Capricorn Zodiac for the month of September in the year 2023? Queen of Pentacles. Hi, ladies. With the justice. Yeah, girl, I don't want to deal with nobody. <laughs> you see all the crystals around her? It's like, I feel like a lot of you guys have really been in your philosophical, your spiritual bag um, as of recently. And because of this, you kind of just been like, you know, girl, I don't really want to deal with a lot of people right now. Okay. Especially the women, right? Justice, Six of Cups, Ace of Swords, Two of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. And really trying to figure out um, what can't be in your in your waking life anymore, you know, during this time. Ace of Swords, Justice, and the Six of Cups. Uh, um, how, how did that verse go? Once I stopped being a child, I had to put away uh, childish ways. Okay, some of you guys could be in that uh, space during this time. With the Queen of Pentacles coming out, this for me is, you know, girl, like I'm grown. I'm getting grown. I'm becoming independent. I am independent. There's certain um, ways of handling things and doing things that I'm kind of like, excuse me, I'm hearing a, a blige to. Okay. If I want to be a, at a certain level in life, okay, hermit. It's like, um, yeah, girl, you would be your worst critic, okay? Not even worst critic. It's just you're kind of like analyzing yourself during this time, okay? Spirit, guys, what's going on with the Capricorn Zodiac for the month of September in the year 2023? Three of Pentacles, Capricorn, that's you. This whole row is you. Hermit, Queen of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I told you a, little, a lot of self-help during this time. You've been staying to yourself or will be staying to yourself because you are working on you. Projects, ventures um just yourself your financial stability your financial situation and with the seven of wands due to this you might be very you know i wouldn't say don't talk to me but you are being very firm about your boundaries and with the seven of wands i said this in the leo uh, video be difficult okay um if with the seven of wands you feel like you gotta you know start saying no in certain situations don't feel bad about it Seven of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, and the World card. Capricorn, I'm seeing a certain situation here with an air, fellow earth, fire, or a water sign. Let me tell you the, the, the signs that I see, girl. Let's do that instead. Scorpio, Pisces, Leo. Aries, Sagittarius, Gemini, Taurus. I'm seeing that it's probably best. Some of y'all with the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Swords, it's like 
you got to get off the merry-go-round with someone. Um, Seven of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, World Card, and the Hangman. Is it, you know what girl look like for me? Revoke your access, okay? Revoke someone's access to you. Um, Page of Wands, King of Wands, Five of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. Just because I feel as though... Um, It's almost like a waste. It's like feeling like dealing with the, 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 oh, yeah, 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 well, hey. It's almost like feeling like, I hate to say this, but, you know, dealing with somebody here is a waste of your time, effort, and energy. It's it's more like, I don't want to pour into you. Uh, with the hangman, you could feel this way because um, it's like, Either you feel like this person is kind of, you know, stagnant themselves. They're not moving, you know, in life or just in general. Or you feel like this person is kind of, you know, like an obstacle. It's going to already happen or it could be happening, okay, or happens. So, yeah, guys, what's going on with the Capricorns over here for the month of September in the year 2023? King of Swords with the Four of Wands. This is giving heavy Leo energy. Y'all kind of doing the same thing that Leo was doing. Uh, uh, Leo was getting serious um, <laughs> about um, they're, they're being very, very unserious. Hold on. How do I say it? They were giving off this energy. It's like sometimes you'll come off. Uh, cold or nonchalant or uncaring whenever with the hermit card and the three of pentacles you really just shift the focus to you okay shift your focus um to you and i feel like some of you guys are doing the exact same thing that uh, leo was doing um Is that I really same thing with the Leo uh, Zodiac. It's like some of you guys are a lot more focused on establishing yourself, focusing on certain projects and adventures. I'm hearing some of y'all could be getting some sort of consultation in the month of uh. What was I about to say? April. I don't know, girl. Maybe you you know you get something scheduled and it's you know for the month of April, if it, you know like next year or something like that. But I do see some of y'all getting some sort of consultation in the month of uh September. This for me is you know getting something looked at or checked out. So this for me could be you going to the doctor. It could be you going to the dentist. It could be you going to um uh, uh, I don't know why I'm hearing therapist, but I heard that a therapist. You know, getting your car looked at. I do see some of you guys need to um get have some sort of consultation in the month of september if you don't already have it uh scheduled okay yeah appointment all right so here guys what's going on with the capricorn zodiac for the month of september in the year 2023 fool you know what this is baby miss star or mrs and sarah sante okay Magic. Oh, 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 okay. I'm going to let you have it. Capricorn, I see some of you guys doing this with some like 13, 13 confirmations when I said that too. I see some of you guys deciding not to engage with somebody on the whole, you know, oh, we're going we gonna to do this tiff and tat shit. Okay, five of swords, king of swords, and the queen of swords. It's like somebody here tries to antagonize you. Somebody here says something to you, kind of like a low blow or something like that. And you kind of just with the fool card, king of swords. I'm going to just dust it off, bitch. And I'm keeping moving, okay? It's with the hermit card, girl, I'm growing, all right? <laughs> I'm growing, bitch. So I'm just realizing certain shit ain't even worth me responding. Because let me tell you something, Capricorn. With the King of Swords coming out in your reading, people need to be very careful about wanting to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you whenever it comes to an argument or whenever it comes to, you know, talking to you slick. It's like, oh, 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 oh. Don't, don't, don't let the nice demeanor fool you with the fool card. If I start getting honest with niggas, I'm going I'm to shake the room. Tread, tread, tread carefully, okay? Um, I see some of y'all have had this situation or are having this situation with an earth, with a fellow earth sign, a fire sign, and an air sign, or this is taking place. Aquarius is very strong, Libra, Gemini, um, Aries, Taurus. 
It's like I, I I get the energy of some of you guys feel like with the magician, high priestess, and the five of swords. This for me is feeling like someone here is trying to, you know, um, uh, with the tower card. It could be trying to make a scene, cause an issue. That's that low blow type shit. And with the king of swords, yep. Devil, nine of swords, and the emperor. God, hold thy tongue, okay? Because this for me is with the devil and nine of swords. You kind of want to, you know revert back <laughs> you kind of want to revert back with the fool car you are in your new leaf type season okay girl i'm trying to turn the other cheek right but motherfucker gonna test you devil and nine so somebody here gonna test you like you ever been in situations where you look back and it's like see i should i should have said this to your dumb ass okay you ever been in that situation some of you guys will find yourself in that okay but it's because like i said i feel like you bite your tongue you don't really say what you want to say Okay, it's like with the king of swords and the food card, you just be like, okay. Some of y'all with the hermit card and the food card, is like, you know, you don't feel like arguing. You don't feel like taking things there. Or it's just, I'm going to be honest. Some of y'all is like, you know what, girl? I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> it's like, I don't really give a fuck. You can go there, girl, but I just don't really have it in me to even really like you know, assess or acknowledge what, the, the, what you just said, okay? I caught it, but you know what? Okay. So, here, guys, what's going on with the Capricorn Zodiac for the month of September in the year 2023? Page of Wands, uh-huh. With the Two of Pentacles, okay? Yeah, Capricorn, some of y'all with the King of Swords, Fool Card, and the Page of Wands, whenever it comes to your temperament or how you uh, speak, um, when people, you know, try to get at you, like I said, try to say something slick to you. It was like with the two of pentacles. I'm, I'm, you know, girl, I'm still, I'm still fixing myself, right? But I do see that some of you guys will run into situations or have run into situations the way you feel like somebody has said something slick to you. And you kind of got to be like, um, is this worth me engaging? Because if I engage, I'm going in. <laughs> I'm at a level 10 already. All right. Mm. Uh, Capricorn, I see it's, it's one of two situations. I see the situation uh, here with um, two of Pentacles, Chariot, three of Swords, and the three of Cups. Either this is someone here that you have a child with or a family member. That with the two of Pentacles, Chariot card, three of Swords, and the Ten of Cups, I think it's best that you kind of just keep it moving or keep it pushing in regards to you dealing with this individual um cherry in the star card i think you're a little bit more focused on um it, it's just like you know girl I, I i really am trying to what's the word i'm looking for i'm trying to keep it copacetic around this bitch i'm really <laughs> trying my best to you know be in a different element with myself be the grown be, be my big age okay be the grown up guy i am right but with the page of wands i feel like niggas keep bringing me childish shit people keep doing childish shit to me okay antics and stuff like that some of you guys have experienced this with someone here that you have a child with or like i said a, a family member situation um heavy on the water air and the fire I'm going to be honest, um, with the three of swords, this is one of two things. Um, either you're dealing with someone here who is, you know, hurt and or jaded with a certain situation. So I sort of feel like if this person kind of comes at you kind of sideways or some shit like that, it's because, um, for one, I feel like they're going through other shit and it's, how do I say that? It's like they're letting it out. Um, they're lashing out. They're, they're lashing out because they're going through other things during this time with the king of souls and the hermit card some of y'all might be at the maturity level to where it's like you know what girl what you just said lets me know that what's going on between me and you that's not the reasons why you said you got some other shit going on okay And some of y'all kind of just call somebody out. Uh, Divine Feminine, I could be talking to you. Empress, we got the Page of Cups, Seven of Wands, Star Card, and the Seven of Swords. Um, you know, this for me is you keeping your distance from somebody because with the Seven of Swords, you know, you, you a thief. <laughs> you a taker. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords. You 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 carry narcissistic qualities. Uh, you you gaslight. You manipulate. But because you do that, I uh you know because you do that, I feel like with the King of Swords, it's like um, and the Five of Swords. It's almost like somebody here tries to make you feel like the bad guy because you kind of called them out on, you know, they fucked up way of doing things. You got to be like, okay, you know, I'm not going to say what I thought. So, you guys, what's going on with the Capricorn Zodiac for the month of September in the year 2023? The magician, okay? It's to make it happen. Captain, okay? Some of y'all might have Mercury and Capricorn. Whether it's pursuing a certain career, um, establishing your own business, your own ventures, your own projects. Some of you guys are either needing to really submerge yourself in that energy or you already are in that energy, okay? So with the Page of Wands, I feel like because you got big shit going on, you really ain't got time for, like I said, the childish antics that people bring you, okay? Okay. If we can't have a serious conversation, if we can't communicate like grown ass adults, okay. I don't I don't even want to deal with you, all right. So guys, what's going on with the Capricorn Zodiac for the month of September in the year 2023? Ten of Pentacles with the death. Yeah, girl. Yeah, Capricorn. I definitely see certain connections here. It's like, psh, psh. but I hate to say it, food card. A lot of you guys are moving into a new season. Magician, the food card. You'll start to notice that whenever you want to create new chapters or new cycles or new seasons for yourself, you got to let go of certain things. You got to let go of certain situations. Sometimes you got to let go of certain people. In this case, some of y'all is letting go of certain situations and people. Um, I hate to say it, but some of y'all, it's either in regards to like love connections, two of cups, uh, any sort of bonds really, or with the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups came out and the six of cups, certain family connections, okay? It's like growing apart from certain people. But with the magician showing up and you're reading with the ace of swords, it's like you got to make these cuts though. You, you you gotta make these cuts. Last card. Spirit guys, what's going on with the Capricorn Zodiac for the month of September? Ooh. Sorry. What's going on with the Capricorn Zodiac for the month of September in the year 2023? Last card. Seven of Swords with the Six of Cups. This is this is this is troublesome. <laughs> this is troublesome. Let me tell you why. Capricorn, a lot of you guys have been realizing that uh, you can't have a certain, you can't have certain relations, you can't have relationship with certain people. You can't, you you, you got you gotta kind of like keep your distance because with the magician, the seven of swords coming out, and the king of swords, the king of swords or queen of swords will always be able to identify a seven of swords. So I feel like a lot of you guys are able to tell whenever you have a taker in your midst, whenever someone here is only wanting to be around you to, like I said, take. They don't pour, they take, all right? And a lot of y'all, like I said, have been making some cuts. Okay, girl, people been getting fired. I don't know if this is a legit thing. Okay, to where, you know, maybe some of y'all, this could be happening um, at your job. Or if you're, you know what I'm saying, a business owner. Hey, girl, I'm having to call some people into the office. All right? You got to have a conversation. And with the King of Swords, you got to kind of, I don't want to say be cutthroat, but it's like you got to, you know, kind of stick to your guns. You know, some people with the page of wands might get, you know, mad at you or have an attitude with you or, you know, say that you um, acting funny, da, 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 da. but with the seven of swords, it's like, nah, but I see you for who you are. I see you for who you are. So now with the magician, I'm going to go ahead and act accordingly. 
king of swords i'm not gonna fuck with you no, no more i'm gonna distance myself from you and you some of you guys will know you made the right decision if with the page of wands people respond by like i said lashing out at you okay or um doing the whole uh manipulation shit to where it's like um Like, you ever be having a conversation with somebody and y'all kind of, like, going back and forth, either you in an argument, y'all having a disagreement, and then somebody try to bring up some irrelevant shit, you know, to kind of distract you from what's going on right now. It's like, we're not talking about that, though. Why even bring that up, all right? Some of y'all have had to separate yourself from individuals like that, or you're going to find that the more with the hermit card you become in tune with yourself, you will need to start doing this, okay? And you'll be surprised that who going to have to start leaving, but I hate to say it with the snakes in the grass car showing up. It's like, these people been that way. It's just at some point in time, somebody here is going to show their true colors. King of Swords and the Seven of Swords. They ain't going to be able to keep up the facade for long. Hermit, Fool card, and the Seven of Swords. Especially to someone who I feel like is spiritually discerning. You can be nice to me, you know, all you want. You can play in my face all you want to. But if I see the, 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 the problematic energy that you bring... King of Swords, I'm always have my eye on you. And when push comes to shove, boom. Capricorn, that is your September monthly reading. Any placement of Capricorn, specifically Mercury in Capricorn. Like the video, leave a comment telling me if this resonated with you in any way. Subscribe to the channel. Pricing and content information will be in the description box down below. All the info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section. So, see you later. Bye.